The warden and his men spread out across the open plain. The animals were helping too with all their might and main. They did their best to find him, but because the grass was high, they missed both monkey and the child as they went pushing by. From down below, they couldn't see the boy's shirt, red and white. They didn't have the benefit of Jerry's extra height. But Jerry saw the runaways. On guard, he waited there until the warden noticed him and found the naughty pair. So homewards the procession went, while Jerry, with delight, was told by all, You're not too tall for us. You are just right. Home. 
He was so sad he didn't see the damage he had done. I'll look for them right now, he said, and set off at a run. He really was quite frightened as he hurried through the park. He didn't like the jungle, and he didn't like the dark. But poachers like the darkness, for it hides them from all eyes, and they came back with guns and ram to gather up their prize. They grabbed the monkeys from the net, although they scratched and bit. They pulled the little lions up out of the dreadful pit. They hauled the hippos from their cage with a triumphant shout. But Jerry was behind a bush, and then the moon came out. It shone upon the painted mask high up above the tree. It scared the poachers half to death. They all turned round to flee. One fled into the monkey's net, one fled into the cage. The third one fell into the pit. He fired his gun in rage. And really, that was his mistake. The warden heard the shot. He soon arrived with all his men and said, We've caught the lot. We've caught the straying animals. We've caught the poachers too. Ah, pygmy hippos, monkeys, cubs won't end up in the zoo. Again, our two tall Jerry led them home triumphantly. The poachers went to prison, but the animals went free.